In this video, we will go over all of the different options in your Google Docs toolbar. To start, open up a new Google Doc by clicking New within your Google Drive and then Google Docs. And one of the quick tips for titling your Google Doc is if you just start to title it within your Google document and then click on Untitled Doc, it will give it that title of the first line in your document so you don't have to title it twice. So starting at the top left in File, it has kind of some normal options. You can click New, you can Share, Open, Make a Copy, you can download it as a PDF or open up the version history, which is nice if you need to revert back to an older version, or if you'd like to check maybe some of the edits that your students have made to check and see if they've copy and pasted it. Um, you can also email collaborators. So if you've made some edits and you'd like them to check, you can email directly from your document to have them uh, check or notify them of any changes you've made. Edit are the same features that you should be familiar with. And then in view, in insert, you can insert an image and um, or a drawing or a chart. You can insert a chart directly from sheets that are located in your Google Drive. If you click that, it will bring up the spreadsheets that are already in your drive. You can also insert a horizontal line to break up sections footnotes, special characters, headers, page numbers, things like that. Um, you can also, if you hover over the table, insert a nice table um, by uh, different rows and columns just like this. Once you hover over the ones that you want, then click and it will insert it for you. In format, you can format the text and paragraph style, but you can also change the format of your table once you have that table in there, it will bring up options for adding and inserting different rows and columns and also deleting rows and columns. And then next in tools, there's spelling and word count. And another nice feature in tools is voice typing that might be good for you to use with your students where they can speak into their microphone, which you'll need to allow, and it will type for them. And then there are some add-ons that you could add. And down along the bottom, you can uh, choose to undo or redo and change the zoom. You can fit it to your screen or you can zoom incrementally. You can change the text style to be a heading or title. You can change your font, or you can change the font size right next to that. And then bold, italics, underline, and font color and then a uh, highlight color, which would be right behind the text. We're gonna undo some of this. And right next to that is the insert link icon, which looks kind of like a chain link. And that will be the same icon um, in all of your Google apps. And so we'll just paste a link to an outside website and click. And so it will automatically format it to be blue and underlined, but you can change that and not lose the link. So we want it back to be our original color and not underlined. And if you click on that, it will still take you to the link, but it will re remain with the formatting that we wanted it to be. And then next to that, you can insert a picture and align and change the formatting of any numbered lists or your bulleted lists, change any line spacing and indenting that you'd like. And then over on the right are the different modes, editing and suggesting. And we have another video that goes a little bit more in depth on what suggesting means 
but it means that you are kind of changing some of the uh, styles and things, but it brings up suggestions and comments on the right. And so this would be a different mode for you working with your students or with collaborators where you're suggesting edits instead of directly editing. But again, we have another video that goes a little bit more in depth with this. You can hide more of the toolbars if you'd like. There's the share button and next to that you can directly make a comment. And over on the left side by the document title is the star if you'd like to star this uh, document and then there's the folder that shows that this is already in my drive and I can click on that to see what folder this document lives in and I can move it to be in a new folder from this window. And these are the features in the toolbar in Google Docs.